more smashing performances, go to the audioproductionworkshop.com slash sessions. And for exclusive bonus tracks and to see stuff first, go to patreon.com forward slash the APW and subscribe. Hello, welcome to the APW. I'm here with Gordon Mokes uh, from Le- Young Legionnaire, and uh, today we're going to be looking at his rig. So, Gordon, Hello. let's uh, let's start with uh, bass guitar. What are you playing for us today? Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, Young Legionnaire. I've pretty much exclusively always played the the grabber for Young Legionnaire. I mean, I started out as a P bass player in Block Party, but um, I have a couple of these grabbers which just have like a really heavy tone that I like for for this heavier rock nonsense mm. um, and uh, I mean how did you how did you fall into the finding this bass it was a bit random it was years ago our front house guy who's a bass player um, Pete Bartlett he um, had told me oh you might like the grabber he just said it one time and I think I had this botch DVD mm. Um, the box DVD which is like their last show and um, Brian Cook who's also in Russian Circles and in These Arms of Snakes and all sorts of bands he plays one mm. so um, Pete I think we were watching that, that DVD and Pete said you should you should try one of these mm. and they're affordable and they have a great tone and I just sort of I love the shape so it just was like yeah Brilliant. It worked. It clicked. Amazing. Now, today we're using the uh, Eden uh, head here. Yeah. Uh, and this is a little bit different because this is my in house kit. Yeah. But what do you normally use? You're running. Well, I. Ashdowns. I've always been a big Ashdown player. And uh, in fact, on this last tour, for the first time, I took out their big tube head, which I think is the CTM4. 100 or 430 mm-hmm. and it's my favorite Ashdown head yeah. I've ever played through really heavy to cart around not 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 a friend of the loading but um, a great head and I usually run the eight tens so that's perfect for me um, in Young Legion now I've always done this thing with the board which is the channel switch so you're running a very special uh, AB switcher yeah this is a custom made Thing that my friend Steve Crow at Audio Kitchen built for me, mm-hmm. and so um, the main bass channel is always running most like 90 percent of the time. There's always a bass channel, yeah. Which which I use this to to make a bit grittier when I need it. I love these pedals; they they sound so good. They're awesome, and the great and the great thing about it is that you can just um, just blend in the yeah. time. You can have it just completely flat and then you can just blend the, the tone in on top of what you're already doing that's that's perfect um, and for, your, for your little bit of drive when you need it well it? this so these two actually go into the other channel which is my crunch channel which basically is designed to sit on top of the main base channel yeah um, and it's perfect for a three piece because there's the space mm. um, to put something in between the low end that I'm always doing, which I love, um, and the guitar. I just put something that just crunches up in that middle, mm. and live it makes all the difference. So this pedal really just controls whether or not, when I click in a second channel, mm-hmm. whether or not it's incorporating the the effects for that channel which are just a distortion and I use this to go up an octave so it's like a guitar tracking with a bass yeah um, and then this is just has some extra functionality which means I can click between the channels and I can come out into whatever channel I want from the double channel so I might be starting on the, the main one then I'd be clicking in and then I can click that and when I come out I flip channel so it just does a little few custom things that I couldn't find with what was out there on the on the shelf. So yeah, that's what I use that for. That's the, the young engineer sort of tone. Amazing. Thanks Gordon. I've worked I probably did maybe like six different projects last year. I started with I worked with Johnny Lloyd for a bit, who's mm-hmm. um used to be in tribes and we did like a couple of EPs.
Hello and welcome to the APW. Today we're going to be having a look at the PV6505 20MH, which is the 20 watt micro head tiny version of the metal monster that is the PV6505. It comes as a three channel amp, there's a rhythm channel with a foot switchable clean and crunch, and there's also the lead channel which really does deliver the punishment. It's a fantastic sounding amp, it runs at 25 and 1 watt with a selector on the back, comes with reverb, there's an effects loop, uh, there's also a foot switch included and you can also attach another foot switch and have two so you can switch between the clean crunch and lead channels and switch off the effects loop and reverb. So let's have a look at how it sounds. Really nifty feature of this amplifier is the tube status indicator. Two LEDs on the front of the amplifier, if they're glowing green, all is well. If one goes red, or if they both go red, you need to have a look at the EL84 output valves because something may be amiss. But it's a great indicator, great feature. If you wonder what that strange noise is and you've got a red light, you know what that strange noise is. We've had a quick look at how it sounds, so let's subject it to the four riffs. At the APW, we like to standardize things a bit so we can give things the same test. And uh, we use four well-known riffs to take a amplifier through its clean crunch and dirty phases. So let's do that now. Now, one of the really clever things about this amp is that you can disable the speaker, which is unusual for a valve amp, because normally you have to have a speaker plugged in and sound coming out of that speaker in order for the thing to work, because you can damage the transformer if you just unplug it. So there we are, PV6505MH, 20 watts, coming in around about £620, we get an awful lot of amplifier for that money. So many features, and it's a great noise. For more reviews and tests, go to theaudioproductionworkshop.com slash tested. And for even more in-depth results, go to patreon.com forward slash theapw and become a patron. Up now, it's Loathe.